First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. We once again have all green boxes highlighted on your first alert. No impacts expected in the next day, except the rising river levels on our Mississippi River stations. This is what we see on the Dubuque City Cam River levels, pretty high, along with temperatures in the 50s. 57 in Cedar Rapids, 58 in Iowa City, and 57 degrees in Washington. A little cool for the end of April, with fairly light winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. This is what we have for river levels. This this afternoon 19 and a half feet in Lansing 20.7 in Guttenberg 23.6 feet in Dubuque and they're forecasted to climb a bit more as we head into the next couple of days we're going to see them rise in McGregor to 23 and a half feet this weekend to 24.6 feet in Dubuque. A big shout out to officials and emergency managers working to keep people safe as these river levels rise. We're seeing beautiful blue skies across eastern Iowa. It's really a gorgeous afternoon across the area. If you haven't already today, maybe head out for a nice jog or even just a walk. It feels lovely out there. This evening, staying clear with winds coming out of the southeast. Then as we head through the the overnight hours staying pretty clear, which means Thursday morning waking up to a beautiful sunrise across the area. Clear skies continue throughout Thursday afternoon. Tonight, a bit warmer than it was last night in the 30s and 40s. 40 in Fayette, 37 in Manchester, 36 in Cedar Rapids, and 36 degrees in Washington with a mostly clear sky. In your zone cast, temperatures rising into the upper 60s for tomorrow. We've got 68 degrees in Dubuque, 67 in Dyersville and in the northwest zone, upper 60s and low 70s for highs. And in the central zone, very similar, upper 60s and low 70s, 68 degrees in Cedar Rapids, 71 for the high in Vinton. Then headed to the south zone, talking the upper 60s and low 70s. But as we head into the end of the week, we are going to see some light rain showers possible. A low pressure system and cold front moving through the Midwest. That'll bring in some showers possible really as we head into Friday evening and overnight. Then a second round will be possible Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening and overnight. Then for Sunday morning could see a couple of lingering showers possible. Really seeing light amounts with this system less than half an inch across eastern Iowa in the forecast. Here's your nine day. We're talking the 60s and 70s, 70 degrees on Friday with some showers possible. Showers also possible for the weekend. Seeing some lingering showers possible Sunday. Then headed into the first day of May on Monday, we are going to start the month off a tad bit on the cool side in the upper 50s and I know that's not necessarily what we want to see in May but considering what we had just a couple months ago I'll take the 50s absolutely Hannah you're right thank you we'll be right back stay with us